Welcome back to the third birthday. Last time we were making our way into the subway tunnels 11 years in the past from my perspective. <laughs> because if you weren't aware by now or if you're just jumping in on this playthrough in this video for whatever reason, this is a playthrough that I had done roughly about 11 years ago that I, I had no idea still existed. So I figured, what the heck, might as well post it, right? I'll react to it to see if I'm st if this game is still as bad as I remember it. And you can see why these uh, these I forget what they're called. Um, you can see why these enemies in particular are so irritating to deal with because they basically just camp you. Like they sit in the middle of the the ceiling and they throw out those projectiles. They hit the ground. They turn into giant spike balls and explode, and you get like skewered by them and they, they just camp you and you just have to try to run around and hit them luckily luckily we had that one last guy there left that that could have gone very badly that that could have been a game over but luckily it wasn't all right so we're just uh taking a stop here to get some hp back and it, it actually fills up decently, decently, decently quick. But I think we are done with this segment of the sewer, or the sewer, the subway. I don't think there's any more battles in here. Yeah, no, this is our, this is our way to go to the next, the next section. Oh no, the train's moving. Now this part can be a little sketchy because you're getting attacked from both sides, but um, if you do a quick dodge behind, personally, now I probably would have preferred to use a grenade on those guys just to get them out of there. But luckily, you do get some backups. So when you when you do get the enemies that spawn in behind you with the projectiles, you you do have some options if you take a little too much damage. And at the end of the day, as you're seeing here, we always will, well, not, not always, but you will normally have liberation to fall back on. And liberation is, oh boy, that is like the saving grace of this game. If you didn't have access to liberation, that this would be, um, we'll say this game would be exceedingly, exceedingly rough if liberation wasn't a thing. Like, if they made this just like a cover fire shooter and they stuck you in a segment like this with no cover and just enemies spawning and coming towards you, that would have been rough. There's the grenade. It, too bad it didn't take out that flying enemy, but you know what? We got him. We got him with the overdive. Notice those flying guys, though. We only get 15 experience from now because they are, like, we way, 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 way out-level them. These guys, however... The, uh, the palette swaps of the first enemies in the game. Those guys, they they give us definitely a little bit more. We're, we're getting 240 experience a pop from them, so. And DNA chips. Alright, I think that's the end of the segment. Yep. Yeah, so overall, that segment's not too bad. It's just if you're not prepared to it, if you're not prepared for it and you go in there with like super low HP, you can just get hammered right off the hop and you don't have anybody to overdive into and, and you're brown bread. Ah, oh, okay, snatchers. Snatchers, like like body snatchers. And this is, this is why the snatchers are horrible. Luckily, we had the guys spawn in right in the nick of time. Had they not spawned in, that would have been game over. Wow, 650, and we got a rare DNA chip. Good stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, Liberation's probably the best bet at this point. Oh, 
All right, level 15 and a rare DNA chip. In this game, there are not too many enemies that are more irritating than the Snatchers. Just because of the way their projectiles work, they are... They are so annoying. Because, like, they just sit there on the, on the ceiling and just camp you, and then they just constantly spawn in. But this is this is another one of those uh, those marathon battle sequences. Wow, these guys are dropping a lot of rare DNA chips. All right, no soldiers taken by the snatchers, and and if you weren't aware up to this point. That is another function that the Snatchers have, as they can come down and snatch your uh, your NPCs. Come on, Chief. Don't say that. We have trust in you. They can come down and snatch your squad. <laughs> trust can sometimes be a dangerous thing. But so that wraps out our um, that wraps out our marathon battle. Just uh, kind of stood around there getting some HP back, but so now our next step is going to be to head to the next screen. Wow, 17,000 BP even. Yeah, so we can get out of there, back to the subway tunnels. And I believe this is a safe room. Yep. So why not do uh, a little upgrade? There we we did. Uh, I believe that's a new upgrade. It lowers your total capacity, but it does give you an increased clip capacity, which could be nice in some circumstances if you're looking to just increase the amount of time between reloads. But you lose overall capacity. But at the same time, it increases your your weapon power. So it's kind of a trade off. Yeah, and you see the rare DNA chips that we got. Uh, they, Three out of the four of them have debuffs on them, but if you're prepared to sit there and, and click square to retry enough, um, it, it can it can work out very well to your benefit. But if we could get a level, level three power surge with a level four heal, like we just got, I, I think our over-energy board is starting to look... Starting to look pretty good. So if we could get level 5 on each, that would be ideal. And it's more likely to not happen than to happen, so that's kind of irritating, but... If you sit there and click retry enough, it'll happen eventually. Or you can do like past me does and just, you know, get over it. <laughs> now we got 5-2. Ooh, that would have been nice to get. The, uh, I don't know if I add that one particular ability. It's got the little the little angel wing symbol. I don't remember what it, what exactly it does, but it's uh, it's not something you necessarily see that often. So I, I'm I guess we'll see eventually if I uh, if I add that to the board in place of something else, but. I uh, we briefly checked the files. Only briefly? No records of you having a younger sister named e
All right. <laughs> Looks like another marathon sequence to me. Uh oh, budget reapers. Rovers? Ah, okay, so we got the budget reapers down here, and then we have the rovers up top that'll send out that, that black ring of death to just kind of inhale your, your squad. And then we have those, uh, the, I don't know if you saw them spawn in there, but on the top left, kind of behind where we are, there's some of those enemies that look like giant elephants that spawned in. We got the flying guys, we got the rovers, we got budget reapers. A little bit of everything here, a little bit of everything. But, like I was saying before, these enemies are a constant throughout the game. Okay, so we got those guys up there now. I, don't, I, I wouldn't have done the liberation from there. I would have gotten a little closer, but... I mean, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, see, I would have gotten a little bit different perspective on that. Because now he's going to start healing. I would have gotten on top of that box there. The slowest scroll of all time. There, if this crossfire goes well... Oh, come on. Hit the thing. Got two shots left, man. No. See, they, these guys warp. This game... This is one of the, the, the downfalls of this game is... The aim... The aim on the weapons is not accurate enough to do what they want you to do. Especially when they position the enemies where they are. There we go. Okay, so now we get to actually take on a rover. There we go. Get a crossfire in there to at least do stuff for them, but... Or do stuff to deal with them, but... So we have the satellite cannon, so we can just kind of aim and kablam! 2,000 experience. All right, level 16. And we're just going to have a bunch of re uh, rovers spawn in. And you just basically aim with the cannon, get some budget reapers, and you just kind of camp them from up here and take them out. Uh-oh. Rover's going to get us. This is this is irritating. Cuz there's nowhere you can go from here. You just kind of have to take cover. You can't get anything in range there. So you have no choice but to warp down and hope another one spawns, hope another guy spawns in with the satellite cannon. And, I mean, those rovers at this point, without the, uh, without the satellite cannon, they're pretty irritating to deal with. I'm not actually sure that you're fully able to actually deal with them, because of, like, the... Because of the small amount of damage that you do, I don't think you can actually take them out.
Well, we got a sniper up here. There we go. New satellite cannon guy. And of course, in true rover fashion, they're the most annoying enemies possible. The best you can do, though, is to just kind of overdive out and hope the rover leaves them alone. And the satellite gun with the rover type enemies, the way they move and the, the way they're able to just kind of like jump up. It's it's another one of those mechanics that the game put in there that I don't think the game is necessarily equipped for like to handle how that combat would work well. Hey, we uh I don't know if you just noticed there, but we did get a crossfire heal. Oh, we got caught. This is where things start to get a little sketchy. No, oh, don't hit yourself with the grenade. <clears throat> All right, satellite cannon guy. We should be able to get him from here if we can turn around quick enough. There we go. All right, just boatloads of experience. And there you go. I, I think the whole purpose of that is if you've been avoiding enemies and being under leveled for like a large majority of the game, like I, I would, Captain like I did my first time through I'm at the rendezvous that point. section, they give you the satellite gun or the satellite cannon because you're expected to basically get your levels up to speed to where the game wants you to be for what's coming because what's coming is annoying. <laughs> Eve. A ghost? And when you get to the end of the game, you have to be... I, I don't understand. This can't be happening. Like, I, I think you could probably do it at lower levels, but I think it's the game's way of forcing you to get to a minimum level, like a, a specific minimum that they want you to have before going into, um, like, the final boss and stuff like that. She's seen the... Because, like, when you see the final boss, it's it's ridiculous. It, it's ridiculous. I don't know. It's just so, some of the, the enemy design choices they made in this game, I, I still question to this day. You finally made it. I'm Captain Russo. Uh, Cray. Cray is Russo? Uh, what's going on here? Alert. We need to detain Cray. Uh, and of course, Isabella. you got Cray here going Cray. <laughs> My My only daughter. Okay, so he's clearly nuts. I did it. Everyone. Even Russo. Good for you, I guess. Do you I'll want a medal? Victor. Even if it means having everyone against me. Oh, uh oh. So if you remember back to the, the, the fly boss that we had to fight that was turning into like bugs. That was uh, kind of like a manifestation of Gabby. Well, we're back in this scenario again, except this time, this time it's Cray. But if you hadn't guessed, it's boss time. There's still time. Go get her. After all, she's family, isn't she? That makes her all that matters. 
You have to find her, Aya. And never let go of her. Well, My take your word for it, bro. Sister? That's right. Isabella. I knew I'd see you again. Better late than never. When Isabella was being taken over, my soul was... And now Cray in the present is fading away. Just like what happened to Gabby. You did it, Aya. Christmas Day, 2013. Isabella, what I wouldn't give to eat ice cream together with you once again. That's such a random thing. <laughs> Specifically ice cream. Cray! Nothing you can do, bro. And now it finally clicked and as far as all these people know, Cray never even existed. He's just like, oh, I'm on the roof. Okay. Memories from that dream. Oh boy. Kyle. Much is lost. But the mission was a success. Nice work, I. Begin the ascent. Are you lost too? Uh, Kyle. Aya? Do you remember now? Help her. Eve. Leave it to oh, me. it's not boss time. I'll save our little princess. Good. I thought it was boss time. Oh, yeah. My bad. <clears throat> okay, so I guess this is where we're going to wrap up. We got the CAD rank. Overall B. Not bad, a half hour, but I think this is where we're going to wrap up. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.